So I'm sharing the screen. Okay. So we were into day 21 today. Okay, right. Day 21. Okay, on day 20, what we discussed? We discussed on uh, two concepts. What are those? What are the ways of creating a production order from a planned order? And we also discussed on the availability check. Correct? So whenever a order is created and it is released, so how, what are the settings through which the system performs the material availability check? And what is the impact of the configuration of the availability check at the time of release of the process, uh, not only process, production order or a process order, correct? So those concepts we discussed. In the today's session, it's a very, very important class, right? The reason being, we are going to discuss the important concepts of production order release and metal staging, okay? So what is the mean by the order release? See, always the order will be in which status? The system status always will be in CRTD. And as a process of production order execution cycle, the first the order will be in created status. And we need to click on that release button. There is a green flag. You need to click on that green flag and then the production order or the process order, right, will be released, okay? And we need to understand what happens and what are the different methods of releasing a production order and what will happen when we release a production order, correct? So all those kinds of uh, details we will try to understand, okay? So once the order has been, uh, you know, created, then what is the next step? Order is released is the basis for further processing of the production order, okay? Once after release only, you can able to do the material withdrawal. Okay, what is meant by metal withdrawal? The consumption, okay, the goods issue can be happened. Okay, so production orders can be released either manually or automatically. Okay, you can also release an individual operation or a whole order or several orders together. Right, so what is the transaction code to release several orders together? Mass processing, COHV, no, we discussed it. COHV can be used in multiple ways, correct? Not only to release a process order, to set the deletion flag, to take over a process, uh, not process order, both process or production, okay? So anything can be done in COHV transaction code, correct? Right. So when a pro production order is released, the system status will be updated as what from CRTD to it will be updated to REL. Okay, so those are the basic details. Once we will go through these previous uh, slides and then we'll directly jump into the system itself and we will see the entire process. Okay, so what will happen when a production order is released? When a production order is released, then the it is allowed for the execution, correct. And the metal available, uh, sorry, the metal withdrawals can be taken place, right? And the confirmation, the next process is to confirm a production order that will be ha happening. And eventually, the availability check will happen, all those things, okay? So what are these uh, multiple options of releasing a production order that we are going to see? And what are the ways of releasing a production order, even that we will discuss, okay? That we will directly jump into the system and discuss. And once that is done, then we will see the concepts on uh, uh, metal staging and withdrawal. Okay, that's fine, not a problem. So we, let's go to the system itself. And what is the material we are going to take? Uh, let me check that. Okay, my production plant is one seven one zero. See, there is a transaction code called COOIS. What is the COOIS? This is a report basically. What is what report? For a given plant, you will understand what are all the existing production orders for which materials. Okay. So I've just entered the plant here. Simply click on execute. Okay. You will system will show us the entire report on 
what are the existing production orders for which materials okay out of this i am going to pick this material which one 2963 okay so i am going to see what 01 i am going to create a manually itself going to create a production order manually order type is what pp01 click on enter okay how much let's say for 500 quantity is my order quantity of the finished group okay click on enter see system if you see here it is doing the availability check at the time of our release also and my system status is crtd for the first time correct and if you go to the operations you will have four operations in this and components you have how many one two three four components fine good now all are back flushed up okay for the time being let me remove the back flush okay i will explain why i am removing back flush all those things so click on save okay Yeah, you have saved the order. Now go to the change mode. Okay. So how to release? You know, right? So once you click on this release button, automatically what will happen? The system status will be changed from CRTD to RER. Correct? Because it's been released. Okay. Now what we will do? We know this straightforward way of releasing. Correct? But what is the way to release the multiple production orders at a single time using COHV that we will see. So for that reason, I'm not releasing this production order. Let it be. Okay. What is my order number? 1001463. Okay. Production order is 1001463. We will create one more order. Correct. Two orders and we will try to release these two orders directly from the mass processing transaction code. Okay. I'm going to see what 01, enter 2963, okay. click on enter, total quantity 600, okay. so current date, click on enter, right, now simply save. 64 1004 uh, fine 2 is fine okay 2 orders is fine now where is what is the transaction code to release it mass processing or production orders okay, right so what is that function what is the function release now see there are multiple functions here correct you can set the user status, you can close the order, you can take one order, you can confirm an order, right? Anything can be done here, which are all showing here in this COHV, okay? But for now, we are going to use the function of release, okay? Selection, what is the selection? What are the production orders? Two production orders, no? Yeah, sorry? Uh -huh. It can be added, but it needs a enhancement. Also, it will be enhancement, and 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 what uh, we will say now, if the business wants to add a additional function which is not here in the list, right? So we will not be recommending to directly add in COHV, rather what we will do, right? We will have a standard function model, which will support that particular, uh, whatever we are expecting, and we'll set a background job for that function model directly. Instead of uh, doing some, uh, disturbing this standard COHV. See, because the reason we will not recommend the client in, uh, itself, not to disturb any of the standard you know, uh, reporting functions. Okay. So instead of that, we can anyway have an enhancement and we can have a BAPI. I will explain what are the BAPI function modules, all those things. We'll have a BAPI directly, which we will set a background job and that will do the 
okay instead of this okay but uh, see uh, most may uh, most of the cases right so these are sufficient but in case like as you told if something is expected explicitly then okay you will have the standard uh, anyway BAPIs are available you can do you can make use of that okay right so I'm going to the selection and let me enter the material number let's see how many orders are there for this material which are still in CRTD status and we are going to convert them into I mean release okay so in in order to restrict what is that I am doing here I am going to restrict the techo correct techo I am going to exclude okay and uh, what else CNF also I am going to exclude okay or else you can do one thing instead of excluding something you include CRTD, right? So you see both ways can be possible. Correct? CRTD. What I am doing here? I am going to filter out only those production orders for this material, which are only in CRTD status, and I am going to use may uh, release those orders. Okay. Instead of excluding doing some uh, complex things, simply enter it as CRTD, right? And click on execute. is there huh? what happened 2963 correct okay production plant is 1710 right system status oh well, let me enter, remove this CRTD okay execute you see there are this many orders which are in created status for this material okay out of which two one the last two ones are which we created okay so uh, what we will do you now anyway if we click on this click on processing execute what will happen all the orders will get released correct and i don't want to uh, no once the order gets released the dependent requirements the reservations will be generated for its raw materials and we might get scarcity deficient of the raw materials so what we will do let's select any three orders out of the list okay and enter select these three orders okay next click on execute what will happen only these three orders will be set into release okay release see this is anyway profit center is not maintained and that is the reason it is showing uh, that's not a problem so if you click on if you go back you know See the uh, it has been the function has been executed, okay, and you don't have that refresh button here in this screen, unfortunately, okay. So now let me copy these orders, right? What are those orders? One double zero, one four double zero, four six three, and four six four, okay. So Control Y, drag this, Control C, correct. And oh, it's a video, you know, it won't uh, be pasted in the local Excel. That is fine. One four double zero, right? Okay, fine. Now go back. Now go back and now go to the CO02 transaction code. What is this? 63. One such order is 63. You see, automatically the order is be set into RL status. Okay, mass processing of releasing of a production order. Fine. Okay, even the same case with 1464 as well. Okay. Right. Now we had released this at the order header level. Okay, but in SAP there is also a flexibility to release the production orders at the operation level as well. Okay, each operation you can go and release. How to do that? Okay, so save this. Okay, so let me create one more order. Huh? Okay, C01. 2963 is my material, correct? Click on enter. 400. So current date, scheduling, okay? See, all the scheduling, don't worry, as of now, I will explain in very detail what are the different type of schedulings and how the dates get determined, all those things. In the coming, probably, 
in the next two to three classes we will discuss that okay so save this production order now go to the change mode okay i'm not going to release at the order level rather what i am going to do i'm going to the operations and select this operation and release the operation okay release the operation what will happen only the first operation will get released and you will see that in the order header status it is partially released the reason because we haven't yet rele uh, released all the operations now we have only released first operation so in what cases this might be visible uh, let's say in your shop floor if there is any issue you know for performing out the 20th operation okay but still till that time you think that the user think that let's release the 10th operation and let's do the process of whatever you know according to the 10th operation and he will confirm at the operation level okay so in that cases he will only release the 10th operation and if any components are associated with the 10th operation right so he can able to issue those the components and he can able to do the confirmation of the particular operation okay in that case is is feasible right and now we are releasing the 20th operation even now the order status sorry the header system status will be prel only partially released so i'm going to release the 30th operation you see still it is prel only now go to the operations if you release the 40th operation it will be changed to rel okay now go back you see correct so in this even in the operation level also you can able to release a production order not only always at the header level okay save this production order right now we have saved this production order right so now after releasing of a production order what is the next step next step of a production order is to confirmation correct confirm the production order okay so before understanding the concept of order confirmation right we need to understand the concept of material staging okay what is meant by material staging okay right so let me go back to the ppt no where is that material staging and withdrawal okay so in this what are the concepts we are going to discuss overview of material staging and what is mean by default issue storage location in the production order and how that gets determined and what are the various methods of material staging and what is the concept of back flush okay and effects of goods issue okay so these things we are going to discuss okay so see there are basically anyway this uh, theory part you can read and understand but uh, i was more interested to show in the system rather than going through the theoretical slides okay so i am skipping this straight away once we check in the system and understand it will be easy okay so, but basically there are multiple metal staging options available uh, in the as a standard sap functionality what are those if your raw metals are inventory managed then you will use the concept of mm and im okay if you are if you are industry or a client using metal staging through kanban that we are going to discuss anyway okay kanban process then that is one kind of metal staging okay kanban and the last one is if your raw materials are or if your client has a warehouse managed okay if your storage location is a warehouse managed then even there the metal staging might be will happen okay and in a part of our training we are going to discuss the first two because we are not going to discuss on wm okay wm related functionalities we are not going to discuss but i will show where the configuration will be and based on that configuration how the system uh, uh, performs when a material is a wm managed okay what material i am saying raw material right raw metal is a wm managed then what are the relevant settings through which system understands and 
need to issue the particular metal from a warehouse managed storage location. Okay, but for the, the first two we will discuss. Okay, Kanban we will discuss and the inventory management uh, metal staging we will discuss. Okay, right. Now what I am going to do, I will go back to the SAP screen and I am going to take consider any three production orders and we will do the metal staging for these three production orders collectively and we will understand. Okay. So for that reason, see any metal staging, you know, if you want to do for a production order, then that metal should not be back flushed. Very, very important. There is a misconception among uh, everyone that for a material to do the metal staging, the component should be back flushed. The back flush indicator should be ticked for the components now. The components which doesn't have back flush are applicable for metal staging. Then you might get a doubt. Then for the components which has back flush, then what is the use of it? See, the reason of having a back flush is what? Automatically, whenever we are confirming a production order, correct? Then the goods issue should be happened automatically. Okay. How? When you are confirming an order itself, the goods issue will happen. Okay. There is no other setting or anything we need to do. System will automatically issue the goods when a backflash indicator is ticked in the production order. Okay. But for material staging, right? So there is no need of the backflash. Okay. Let's understand. That. So I have removed the backflash indicator from this order 1465 and in, uh -huh. it, it depends it depends on at what level you are doing the back flush you are doing the back flush at component level or you are doing the back flush at uh, assembly level or you are doing the back flush at activated type level. It depends on that. Anyway, in the repetitive manufacturing, I will explain that. Okay, but it is not that always mandatory. You see, yeah, it's mandatory, you know, uh, at back flush indicator should be there, but at what level, even in one of the transaction code in the repetitive manufacturing, you can go and enter the man, uh, metals directly and issue from that T code itself. Okay. Okay. There is one one T code for everything in repetitive MFBF. Okay. Right. So uh, we are into discrete now, right? So we will discuss first the discrete, and after that uh, we will go to the repetitive classes. There I let's. Okay. Right. So for one four six five, what we did in the component tab, I have just went and removed the backflash indicator. Okay. Same case, I will do for two more orders. Okay. Now where is that? You see, the backflash indicator. No, uh, just a second. You see, this is a backflash indicator. Okay. I will remove this backflash indicator. Right. Save this. What is the one more order? One four six four, huh? six four. Okay, go to the component. Let me cross check whether backflush is maintained. I don't think we have. Oh, it is maintained. Okay, let me remove this. Okay, you might get it out for each and every order. Do you think that I need to go manually and remove the backflush indicator? No, there is a setting where system determines the backflush based on the master data that we will. I'll show you. Right, so I'm going to one more order. Okay, anyway, for this it was removed. So I'm going to consider three orders: one four six three, one four six four, and one four six five. Right. So, how to do the metal staging? See, for each individual order, you can do the goods issue kind of a metal staging in which T code, the standard T code MIGO. Correct. See, for example. Let me take one more one order that is this one one four six three. I am going to the T code MIGO. Correct. So what is the function I need to select here? Goods issue now, because I am doing the goods issue with respect to a production order. 
what is the order number 1001463 correct click on enter so what is the uh, movement type for doing the goods issue for a production order 261 okay very very important huh? the movement type to do the goods issue for a production order or a for a process order for that matter is 261 it's a standard movement type see in sap everything is based on movement types okay if you ask me a question why movement types even i cannot answer that those are the standard uh, functionalities that sap has suggested that if you want to do the if you want to perform any movement uh, metal movements within the system or within the plants right so we need to go take the reference of movement types so one such movement type is 261 okay what is 261 if i click on f4 you will see here okay each movement type has its own description and its own function okay what is 261 consumption for order from warehouse okay means you are doing the consumption of these many materials for an order from the storage location correct so you will get the list of raw materials what has been maintained as a bomb components there is for one such component there is no storage location maintained so let me enter that one seven one year click on enter fine now simply click on check okay why it is taking special stop Are Someone defaulted this, sir. Huh? Wait. Default values. Goods issues to 61. Fine. Okay. Okay. So that's fine. You know, while we're just entering, let me go and enter again. It was defaulted to 261M. 261M means it's a vendor stock. Okay. So that is the reason. Probably 14. What is that order number? 1463 enter 260 fine now it's fine okay simply click on here 171 is the missing storage location click on check okay it is checking for all the materials you know whether the stock is there or not or if there is any issue in terms of uh, a master data or any settings with respect to the order it is checking everything is fine so the document is okay click on post okay see this is water this is a simple way of doing the metal staging for those components which doesn't have a backlash correct so if i go to co02 and enter the order and go to documented goods movements okay you will see that the movement type i mean the for the respective components right the metal document has been generated for the movement type 261 and for the respective amount the quantity into the standard price which which system will pick from the metal master is the amount correct and all this impacts the order costing very very important right what are what impacts order costing the material goods issues the confirmations the activity uh, the operation confirmations and the goods received for the finished goods all will be considered in the order costings you now production order costing we will see that anyway nothing to worry okay now what is the way of performing metal staging for bulk list of orders the t code to do the metal staging for bulk list of orders is c 27 the picking list okay so what is the production order the production orders are 1001464 and we are entering with respect to order if you could enter with respect to any material you will see the bulk list i will show you that also nothing to worry okay two orders i had entered what is the plant there is no need for entering the plant also because anyway i have entered the orders directly so click on execute so if you click on execute what will happen system will show the entire list of components for each orders okay so now what we will do i won't enter the order right you'll see what will happen delete this okay and execute 
वेर इज द मेटर मेटर इज टू नाइन सिक्स थ्री दिस इज एफ जी नो आर्डर टाइप इज लेट मी ऑल्सो फिल्टर पी पी जीरो वन क्लिक ऑन एट क्लिक ऑन एक्स यू विल सी यू विल फाइंड सी देर आर मल्टीपल ऑर्डर्स राइट फॉर विच सिस्टम कलेक्टिवली वी कैन एबल टू डू द गुड्स इश्यू ओके बट to make it simple what i will do right so i will enter the orders directly okay 1464 and 1465 correct enter execute so select this if you click on that select all the orders will be selected all the components will be selected and if you see here carry out picking okay simply click on that button you see it will show this screen here it will show the list of all the components correct and for for this component you know the storage location is missing the reason also i'll tell why the storage location was missing correct but i have entered it manually anyway and simply click on post what will happen the goods issue will be happen directly see refresh list of components if i refresh this you see everything is removed off okay now even though i enter uh, forcefully the orders it will show that you have already did the picking and did the consumption as well then that is the reason it won't allow us okay now if i go to the order 1464 Wait, let's wait for two seconds. Okay. Okay. I think. Okay. Right. One four six four. Enter. Okay. Right. Documented goods movements. You see, this is expected result anyway, right? So we know that it will show. So even there is a setting for this to happen. Okay, what is the setting? I will anyway show that in config. But uh, since we are discussing, right? So I'll show that as well. See, if uh, some uh, clients might say that I don't want to see the documented goods movement tab. See, generally no one will say that uh, because it's a very useful functionality. Correct. because in what is happening with respect to the order you can find there it's correct but still if some users might some client might say that i don't want to see that okay so here is the setting you see if you untick this what will happen if i untick this i cannot see that documented goods movements with respect to the production uh, in the production order tab okay since it was checked here for the plant 1710 for the order type pp01 that is the reason whatever doing i am doing the goods issue is showing here okay if i untick this system will not show that okay even in the support you might get this kinds of issues okay uh, some user might say that for a, a plant for a order type i am not able to see what is happening in terms of goods metal movements for that order so what you will do you will simply go to order dependent type parameter configuration in the production system opl8 very very important key code and you will see that whether this has been checked in most of the cases that would be the reason if something wouldn't have checked here then for that particular thing cannot be uh, displayed in the production order in the documented goods formats okay right now we did the we saw the metal staging for single orders and for collective orders also now what is the functionality of back flush then okay so let's understand that so right so i'm going to create one more order for 2963 is my fg okay 2963 
enter for let's say for 300 okay so it's a current date scheduling correct so enter right now save this order okay what is order number one four double six change enter go to the components you see this that for three of the materials the storage location is determined see before going to backflash we will discuss this and we will go to backflash okay so storage location is determined and for one such component it is not there why how what is the reason so if i go to the metal master for this material 450025 okay so go to mm02 what is it 450025 enter enter okay directly go to mrp now uh, two view okay in mrp two view you see this production storage location is maintained here as 171a okay and once the production storage location is maintained here and this value will be picked in the order okay see for that missing thing we will maintain and i will show you okay 450024 now so save this i am uh, going to one more metal that is 450024 enter 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 mrp2 view okay see i will enter it as 171a okay save save this material master right now what i will do in order to determine this anyway i can go back and create a new order that is fine we all know that but if I let let's do the read BP master data, okay. So functions read BP master data, okay. Let's see, okay. Go to the components. Oh, read BP master data will not show the impact for the okay anything related to bomb and production version and routing it will show right. Oh, fine, fine, fine. My bad. Okay. So read BP master data won't work in this case. My bad, I was wrongly understood. Okay. So now I'm going to create one more order. Correct. Slash n c o zero one. Enter two nine six three. Okay. Right. Enter three hundred. Three hundred is an order quantity. Okay. And current date scheduling. Click on enter. Right now, go to the corporates. You see, since we had maintained in the metal master, that is the reason it will be picked and it will be displayed here. Okay, the priority will be given first at the metal master, correct? And what else is the other priority, right? So, let's see that. Okay, you see, determine a sequence of uh, determination of storage location. So the storage location will be picked from multiple areas. Okay. Uh, what are those? One is at the metal master. Other one is at the bomb also. I will show you that in the bomb level how it happens. Okay. So I'm going again to SAP back. Right. So for what is the ROM, uh, finished good? 2963 now. So go to CS03. Correct. 2963 is the finished good for which the bomb is maintained. The bomb usage is 1. Okay, enter. So go to the item level. Right. Click on uh, scroll down. Right. Why it is not okay? Just a second now. Okay, just a second. Enter bomb.
Oh uh, yeah, this is the one. Okay, one second. Bomb, we will be having that. Where it went? In bomb, generally, we will have that. You no, know, this field for determining the storage location basically, but uh, surprisingly. It is not showing up here. Administration, fine. This is fine. Sorry. How come? I don't know. This is something issue or what? See, basically in bomb we will get that. I mean, if you guys have any in your sandbox, you can also check. But I'll also check, okay. But in bomb also, we will be having one such field where we can enter the storage location basically. But I don't know, some screens might got disturbed or something happened for this uh, plant, okay. I will check that, but you will find that in uh, the bomb as well, okay. I'm not sure why it is not showing up here, but I'll see, I'll see and I'll uh, let you know, okay right so now let us go to the work center as well okay if you go to the work center okay you see here there is a concept here known as the supply area okay so this supply area if any work center is related to or if your process is related to WM, then for the WM related process, the production supply area is the main place from which this staging happens. Okay. So in the, there are few prerequisites for that. Anyway, uh, we, I will also show what are the prerequisites we need to create when a material need to be issued from a production supply area, PSA. Okay. For that PSA need to be created, control cycles need to be created. Okay, all those things I will show one uh, when I will discuss on the Kanban process. Okay, nothing to worry. Right, but the main priority from where the production storage location gets determined for a component is basically the main area is from a material master MRP2 view. Okay, so from that it will pick the value. Okay, right. Now, for this material, for sorry, for this order, the components are back flushed. Okay, the components are back flushed enabled. So in our in this case, as we are keep on saying that for the back flushed enabled the components, it will be consumed automatically when the order is confirming. Correct. So let's do that. Okay. So click on save. Okay. So order number is. 1001467. So, what is the T code in SAP to confirm a production order at the order level, not at the operation level? At the order level is CO15, the very, very important T code to confirm an order is CO15. Okay, so it is the final confirmation, clear open reservations. How much you are going to confirm? 300. Right now, if you click directly save, what will happen? The confirmation happens along with the confirmation, what will happen? The goods issue, the consumption also happens. You see, I just click, simply click on save. Okay, you see? Error in goods movement. Okay, it is saying error in goods movement. What is error in goods movements? Let's see. Uh, see, the storage location. Okay, for finished good also it is asking. Huh? Fine. The reason I will tell why it is asking for the finished good also. Okay, let's enter the storage location. Simply click on save. 
okay you said did we did anything with respect to uh, did we have we went to migo or have we went to c127 uh, nothing directly we did the confirmation and that itself did the goods issue correct for the production order okay so along for, along with the goods issue also it did the goods received for the finished good the reason i will tell you okay the reason is you see here one uh, one such control key is uh, pp03 for that is the reason it also did the goods received for the finished good okay that anyway we will change that in the routing okay but what is that we need to understand the thing we need to understand is if a components are backflushed there is no need for us to manually do the metal staging or the performing the goods issue okay now we need to understand what are the from where are the master data that the backflush will be picked in the production order okay the first and foremost master data from which it picks is the metal master where so if i go to mm02 what is the components for the production order 450025 right enter enter go to mrp1 view okay Uh, sorry not mrp1 view mrp2 view okay you see here for this the backflush is not there you are getting me the backflush is not there but still in the production order the backflush is maintained why how that is possible as i told right there are multiple areas through which the backflush will be determined okay what are those you see this is the flow chart or a decision making uh, uh, diagram from where system will picks the backflush okay i will show i will explain you that right so let's check one more material okay what is that 450024 okay so go back enter 450024 go to mrp one view sorry two view even here you know backflush is not there okay now what is other material 450022 see always it is not that much mandatory that it should be picking from the metal master see for each backflush at each level there is a its own significance right what is that if the backflush is maintained at the material level then wherever the material is being used right so for that the backflush will be enabled okay if you don't maintain the backflush at the material level rather you maintain the backflush at routing okay in the routing also you can maintain the backflush then what will happen only for that routing if any production order is created for that uh, using that routing only in those cases the backflush indicator i mean the backflush indicator will be ticked in that production order where the routing is being used you can also tick the backflush at work center what will happen only wherever you use that work center there only the backflush will be maintained okay so what we will do you know so for one such material the backflush is maintained at metal master fine okay for 450020 okay so let's save this 450020 enter enter mrp2 view even here backflush is maintained fine now what i am going to do i am going to remove uh the backflush for what is the previous material 22 no 22 22 and 20 we will remove the backflush okay from the material and i will uh, uh show the impact in the creation of production order okay so remove this enter save this and 450020 go here and mrp2 tab remove this save this save this now go to the production order go back okay anyway you have created now okay so see what zero one Okay, two nine six three. Okay, enter. 
right for 300 for example correct current date enter okay go to the components you see if you go to the right side you see for two components it is, it is not showing and for two it is showing the reason the reason why it is showing for these two components let me go to the routing okay let's check the routing anyway we are sure that in the metal master it is not maintained correct because the first priority would be taken for the from the metal master if not then if i go to the routing what is that transaction code ca02 what is the finished good 2963 now enter okay go to the go to the first stop uh, go to the allocation okay go to allocation you see here for the item 10 and 20 what is maintained here back fresh is maintained at the routing correct if i remove this from here what will happen anyway it is not there in the metal master neither it is not there in the routing correct now if i go into create a production order you see if i am going to create a c 01 production order for 2963 material right enter 300 enter okay current date enter now go to the components you see for none of the material the back fresh will be maintained okay right now we saw that the, the back fresh will be picked either from metal master or from the routing what is what is the other area from where the back fresh is being picked from the work center correct so how go to the mixing the work center mixing okay what is the t code slash and cr02 now right mixing one enter you see back flush then what will happen save this now go to c01 what is the material again 2963 enter okay you see even though i maintained the back flush at the work center right did any of the components are maintained at its operation in the routing you need to check that as well now then only for that components the backflash will be maintained correct so mixing one tenth operation go to the allocation is there any component maintained for tenth operation no all are twentieth it's a mistake you cannot uh, in that case what we will do let's maintain the backflash correct for mixing two also you are getting me mixing two okay it's anyway for mixing two back fresh is there fine okay now c was zero one two nine six three okay three hundred current date enter okay now go to the components okay uh Wait, go to the components. It, here it is, back flush is not maintained. Okay. Operation is 20. Okay. One second. Go to CR02. Mixing 2. Back flush. F1. Indicate the metal components. I use metal component. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, well, let's do one thing. Anyway, we have maintained the back press here. Okay, so in one of the production order, uh, all the components are as allocated to which operation? 20th operation. And for that operation, we have maintained the back press. Correct? Now, what we will do? Let's go and confirm the operation. Okay, and we will see whether the materials gets issued or not. Okay, so save this. So, right before doing that, you see now you can understand this now. How this see the very first case, it is taking back flush in routing. Okay, if it is yes, okay, back flush. If it is no, then what is the next priority will be given to the metal master? If it is yes. Yeah, backflash indicator will be ticked. If it is no, 
no back flush then the work center decides okay if it is a back flush yes it's a back flush if it is no then no back flush <coughs> okay now we are here correct let's see right so one one double zero one four six eight so for the t code for the order confirmation is what co15 but for the operation confirmation what is the t code in sap for the discrete manufacturing co 11n okay co15 is for order direct order confirmation co 11n is for operation confirmation and these two t codes are with respect to what discrete only okay for process it will be different that we will discuss once we are into process industry okay for discrete it is co 11n what is the order 1001468 correct what is the operation first operation we need to confirm now 10th operation oh, order is not released okay so, so c was 02 468 release the order okay release save this save this order so c 11 n enter order is 14 1001468 okay so what is the operation 10th operation now enter how much yield to be confirmed uh, we will confirm the yield everything in the last operation only okay so it's a partial confirmation correct click on enter you see click on goods movement do you find any goods movements nothing because every thing is associated to operation 20 correct so simply save this okay now what is the another operation 1468 operation number 20 click on enter how much 300 now right and if you go to the goats moments oh this is fine if you go to the goats moments uh, let, let me put it as final confirmation up to until now okay clear open reservations Oh, yeah. Goods movements should be coming now. What happened to this? Mm. Okay, then in that case, right? So let me do CO fifteen one second. But none of the do one thing okay see none of the component is back flush that is clear but for one of that work center no you have did the back flush indicator correct so let me enter one more order right so go to the components okay none is back flush but for one such work center has a back flush correct right so now Release this order and save this order. Okay, right now 1469. So go to CO15 1469. Enter. Okay, final confirmation. Open reservations. See, according to us, right? So uh, let's see. Okay, okay it is not showing up. Huh? It is not the components are not showing up. Um, there is something issue with the work center back flush there. There's some issue now with work center back flush. Indicate metal components are by each metal component is allocated to an operation in the production order. If it, it is back flush system automatically forced correct this indicator is taken into account the metal master specified that the decision whether a metal component is to be back flush should be made at oh okay okay yeah i got that okay now my mistake i'm going to mm02 what was the raw materials 45002 four, 
is one such raw material now. Okay, if you see here, if you go to MRP2 view, right, you see this setting, I, I, missed, uh, I was totally missed out. You see, backflush indicator, work center decides whether to backflush instead of one, instead of blank. What is that you need to keep? Two, work center decides whether to backflush or not. Okay, so two, right, save this. What is other material? 25. Correct. So go to MRP2 view. Correct. You are getting me this setting. Work center decides whether to backflush. Enter. Save. What is the one more uh, one more components? C was 02. Okay. Enter. Components 2524 22 and 20. No? Double two. MRP2 view, 2, setting is 2, okay, save, next, 2, 0, okay, MRP2 view, 2, setting is 2, okay, save this, now you see what will happen, right, C was 0, 1, okay, 2, 9, 6, 3, correct, total quantity is 300, Current date, enter. Okay. See components. You see, the backflush is ticked. How? Because in the metal master, we have maintained the setting known called the work center decides whether to backflush. And for this uh, metals which are associated to the operation 20 or that work center, the backflush is ticked. Okay. And then that is the reason this components, the backflush in the production order also will get tick. You are getting me? Right? And obviously, uh, when we do the order confirmation, the components get issued automatically. Okay? You got me, no? Any doubts still here?